Hi, this is Jordan. This month's XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win your piece of over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. <laughs> It's Monday, July 23rd, 2012, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xdadevelopers.com. As you are probably guessing, lots and lots of devices got Jelly Bean ports this weekend, and some of them over the last week that just didn't make it to the front page of the site. As it was requested by about 90% of you guys in the comments and in the comments over on the XDA Developers post, Yes, the Desire HD did get a Jelly Bean port this past week. As far as the port itself, the camera, the mic, and the audio are still having some bugs, some issues. Sounds like the mic is working correctly in calls, but not in some other areas. And the audio, as long as you're not really a headset person, shouldn't be a problem. It basically just means that the audio is coming out from both the headset and the speakers when the headset is plugged in. That, of course, is thanks to XDA Recognize developer Random Blame. The MyTouch 4G slide and the Motorola Defy both got Jelly Bean ports as well this week. And that's thanks to XDA senior members XMC Wildchild 22 and quarks. Although the list of things not working on those two ROMs is significantly longer. Definitely go ahead and check the development threads to see the status of all three of those ROMs though. In other Jelly Bean ports, you probably did not expect this, although I kind of had my suspicions. The Nexus One, a significantly older device, received a Jelly Bean port this week, and that's thanks to XDA recognized developer Texas Ice. Although he is still calling it a pre-alpha, so do not go running this on your daily driver phone, although I I'm honestly not sure how many people are still running Nexus Ones as their daily driver. I'm sure there are quite a few of you out there though. Now we mentioned before that the i9100 Galaxy S2 got a Jelly Bean port. Well, the i9100 itself got one this weekend as well, and that's thanks to XDA4 member Calgason, although the it's still considered pre-early, pre-alpha, very, very early. Do not use this on your daily driver. There's a long list of things not working yet. That does seem to be the common theme between the Jelly Bean ROMs I've seen so far, and that is to be expected because we are still very early in the development cycle. And now onward to the Cyanogen Mod 10 unofficial ports. The HTC Evo 4G, the Kindle Fire, the original Galaxy tab and the almighty HD2 all got unofficial CM10 ports, although again they are all still very early alpha because CM10 itself is very early alpha. To see all the specifics on these and to see what's working, what's not working, and who did all of the work, please do head over to the website and check out the threads on all of these things. Now the funny thing is, with all of these Jelly Bean ports that have been happening, we haven't really seen that many over-the-air updates coming out as far as Jelly Bean's concerned. But strangely enough, it appears it's starting to happen. We've already seen some of the Galaxy Nexus, at least the GSM version, getting their over-the-air update. Looks like the Nexus S is the next in line, although it appears to only be the i9020T and the i9023. So if you have either one of those devices, do make sure to check for an over-the-air update if you're not rooted and on a different ROM like you probably already are. Now speaking of rooting, let's move away from the Jelly Bean updates because we've had so many of them over the last couple of weeks. One of the most universal things that we do talk about here at XDA is rooting your device, and that can be a bit of a bear depending on your device, your ROM, your version of whatever. Well, to help alleviate some of that pain, XDA senior member Phil3759 created a sort of all-in-one rooting guide for ice cream sandwich. It started out as a very simple guide to just rooting the Galaxy S2, but has very quickly expanded into an all-encompassing, if you have ICS, you do this, it gets root. If you want to read up on that, go ahead and look at the post on the website. I'll have a link to that down in the video description. And the last story to mention hits home for me. The title of it is, Got Linux, the Linux on Android Project Can Help. And it's basically a guide and an accompanying application to show you how to get Linux running on top of your Android-based device. But it runs it in a cheroot, so it's actually running in parallel with Android and you have to connect to it through a VNC. We've talked about this a few times in the past but never really went into detail. If you want to know more about that, definitely head on over to the XDA site and read the original thread. And the last thing to talk about very quickly, there's been a lot of press given to Adam Outler lately for all of the work he's done on the Galaxy S3. And yes, he has done a ton of work on it, but he wanted me to make sure to point out that he is not alone in this. There have been a couple of other guys in the thread that have been doing a ton of work and I'm going to go ahead and find the links and put them in the video description as well, just to go ahead and give credit to those guys, because they're doing a lot of stuff that Adam hasn't been able to do yet, or hasn't had the time to do yet. So really, he's not the only one that should be getting the applause for this. There are a couple of other guys, actually a bunch of other people in that thread, that are being extraordinarily helpful in getting the Galaxy S3 on Verizon open. So thank you so much to those guys in the community. I don't have the names off the top of my head. My internet connection's pretty much down at this point, because I'm uploading another video. But like I said, I'll annotate that down in the video description. As always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and hit subscribe up above if you want to be notified when we release new content. That's all for me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.